Some churches and other places of worship are reopening or planning to reopen very soon, but some are saying it's too soon. Correspondent Mark Irons has the very latest. Mark. Oh, and we're seeing some houses of worship turn into virus testing sites. For some Catholics, mass has resumed across the country with restrictions in place. Others will be able to return to church soon. In California, some religious leaders are demanding a return now. Governor Newsom, open up our churches. With over 1,000 signatures of support, a coalition of predominantly evangelical pastors in California are declaring worship essential. It's unclear when churches may be allowed to reopen under Governor Gavin Newsom's phased plans to reopen the state, but these pastors don't plan on waiting. We're going to hold church beginning on the day of Pentecost, May 31st. The California Catholic Conference says the state's bishops have been discussing the eventual return of public liturgy. With restrictions, Catholic masses have resumed in places like Texas, Colorado, and Montana. In the Diocese of St. Petersburg, Florida, Mass is resumed this week. Public Masses in the Archdiocese of Oklahoma City will resume on Monday. In the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, May 25th. But for hot spots like New York City, restarting worship is not the priority. Some churches in the city, like the New Jerusalem Worship Center in Jamaica, Queens, are making their properties available for virus testing. Having a church might make people take it serious, maybe more, because it's coming from someone they trust as a higher power. And some faith communities have been torn apart, hit particularly hard by COVID-19, including St. Bartholomew Catholic Church in Queens. We have a, a death list of around 60, 65 people um, who, who have died that we know of at this point. But my guess it's probably double or triple that amount. And an interesting poll coming out of the University of Chicago finds as a result of the coronavirus, nearly two thirds of American believers of all faiths say God is telling humanity to change how it lives. Owen. Mark Irons reporting tonight. Thank you very much, Mark.